Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to my vinyl inbox number 52 where I show some new and used a vinyl that I bought over the past month or so. Well this is a special one because this is all ABBA or ABBA related and it goes back to even before Christmas and I have a CD single, uh, a few 7 inch singles and a few LPs as well and including a box set. So all ABBA, so let's get started with the CD single and I got this before Christmas and this is Little Things, the Christmas song from the new album Voyage. Again it's only a one track single and the disappointing thing about this one as well is the video version of this song has about an extra 20 seconds at the end with a very Christmassy horn type section added on and it sounds great and I would have loved that to have been put on this single but unfortunately it's just the normal LP version but still four singles from Voyage and I've got the four uh, CD singles plus one of the seven inches I still have Faith in You which I think was the only one released okay some seven inches now uh, they're not all ABBA but they're all ABBA related and this is Gemini and this is TLC Jim and I were a group in the 80s, brother and sister Anders and Karen Glenmark and they were the vehicle for uh, Benny and Bjorn's pop songs. Two albums, this is from their second album and the B-side of this is Nearly There which is also a Benny and Bjorn song. TLC, very very catchy little number. Don't know if it's good enough to be an Ava song but it's still pretty good. And talking of Bjorn and Benny we have the Japanese single She's My Kind of Girl which was put on to the CD versions of Ring Ring which I didn't like it being on there because it doesn't sound right but it's, it's an okay song it's not brilliant but it's nice to have the single but I do like the B-side Ingus theme it's on the yellow epic label from Japan so nice to have that <coughs> and then <coughs> an Agneta solo single from her Eyes of a Woman album and it's One Way Love and this is the one that was written by Jeff Lynne funny enough it wasn't produced by Jeff Lynne it was just written by so it was written for her but he didn't get his hands on the production and it's a really good album as well her second uh, English singing album but um, did nothing in the charts but good song and then from her third uh, English album it's uh, Agneta with Peter Satira and I wasn't the one who said goodbye uh, lovely cover nice back cover reminiscent of the album not a bad song a little bit bland but again a collector I like to have them and this is really just for collecting purposes and this is the song she did with her son Christian it's a children's song haven't played it yet. It's called Pass Sundag. I think it was released around 1988 as well. But we'll see what it's like. It goes into the collection. And then a couple of ABBA ones themselves. And the first one is um, So Long. And I believe this is a Dutch single. I think. But what a sleeve. A really good sleeve. And you can see in the back of that that they're advertising the Ring Ring album and the Waterloo single so that adds to my foreign picture sleeve collection and then a British one which I had but I didn't have the poster sleeve and it's the thank you for the music from 1983 I just have had the plain sleeve this is now getting a little bit pricey so I thought I'd pick it up and it's a very nice poster of the four of them and it's just say from 1983 and then the last seven inch single and a rather bland sleeve and it's Dancing Queen and this was released in 1992 to promote the gold album and the nice thing here is the b-side is Lay All Your Love On Me which I now have on seven inch black vinyl I only have a picture sleeve that was released a couple of years ago so it's good to add that to the collection and this is actually getting a bit pricey as well it's easier to find the CD single than it is the 7 inch okay we'll go on to some of the albums 
and the first one is I'm not saying it's BCLT but it's a gift from my friend Angela over in England uh, she contacted me and said do you have this album and I said no she said do you want it and I said yes so she sent me it and this is the Hooten Nanny Singers now I'm not going to say how you pronounce that album but it's from 1974 now Bjorn and Benny have produced this but Bjorn hasn't written any songs for it but if you look at the back cover he's featured there and that is his 1974 haircut around the time of Waterloo so was he actually in the Hootenanny Singers at the same time as he was in ABBA I'm not too sure but as I say it is produced by uh, Benny and Bjorn it's actually quite good it's all in Swedish though but it's enjoyable kind of folky but I did actually quite enjoy it and because I got that I actually sought this one out and this was actually very cheap and this is Basta or Basta by the Hootenanny Singers now this is from the 60s and he does write a couple of the songs off this now I haven't played this yet this only recently came in so I'm looking forward to giving that a spin but by the looks of things again this is all in Swedish but that's not bothering me because of the next albums I'm going to show I went a little bit mad I did a video about nearly two years ago now of the pre-ABBA and post-ABBA albums and records that I actually have and I showed a CD box set of Agneta's material so I wanted them in vinyl I had one on vinyl so I went mad and I got the rest of them and this is her debut album and what a cover that's a beautiful beautiful cover and a really nice back cover it's sort of late 60s sort of Sandy Shaw type Clodagh Rogers music but it's really good it is bouncy and it's fun I have no idea what she's singing about but I really enjoyed it and this would be probably my favourite of these next couple I'm going to show you this was the first one that I actually got and it is uh, her volume 2 her second album and it's more of the same and very nice back cover as well with pictures of it very very young looking uh, yeah this I actually I didn't have to struggle too hard to get this because this is an English release and I think it's some blue vinyl but I played this a few times and thoroughly enjoyed it as well and then the third album which I think I had to get from Germany or one of those countries and this is Son Yar R or Air and another gorgeous picture of you know, in the back and this is every bit as good um, again I have no idea what she's singing but I've been playing this in the background and the tunes are really getting into my head and the words will get into my head even though I have no idea what they are and the fourth one and probably my least favourite of them and uh, this one here uh, from about 1971 and yeah nice picture a little bit more less bouncy a little bit more serious a little bit more mature but um, still a very good album and I enjoy all those five solo Agneta albums I would love to get the singles that she released because some of the sleeves are absolutely amazing but they're far too expensive you're talking about nearly 70-80 pounds for each of them in decent condition not in very good plus we're talking about very good uh, far far too dear Oops. now because that I wanted to get some Frida and this is the one that I really really wanted and I saw Rob Eisen actually show this he got this from his um, local record shop Ben I believe this I struggled to get I ordered this album here Frida from Germany I was prepared to pay the postage the actual album itself was normal price but the postage was exactly the same unfortunately I got uh, an email back saying he had just sold it I thought right okay and then a couple of weeks later I could I've been looking for it and I found one in Australia and it was a normal price but the postage was nearly twice the normal price of the album and I thought right it's coming up to Christmas I'll treat myself so it'll probably take ages to get it so I ordered it and about four days later I got an email back saying sorry it just sold it and I thought I'm never going to get this and then I checked eBay because I usually do and I check eBay again and there was one in England for about £22 with about £3 postage and I thought bloody hell 
So I ordered it and I was expecting an email back saying, um, sorry, but we just sold it. And then I got this message back saying it's been dispatched. I think this is fantastic. This is a really, really good album. Uh, she does a version of Suzanne by Leonard Cohen, which is really good. The thing about Frida's stuff, she would do a lot of cover versions. A lot of Agneta stuff was either written for her or written with her. So they're all brand new songs. Another one that I really do like is her version of I Don't Know How to Love Him from Jesus Christ Superstar. And I'll say that Frida does the best version of the song Licka, which is from the Bjorn and Benny album. I absolutely love this. Really, really good album. And delighted to finally get it. So I'm not jealous of Rob anymore. And then I looked at um, Discogs about uh, Frida's singles. Because I know she had quite a few singles that have them on CD uh, in the 60s, but no album. And I thought maybe there's a compilation vinyl album. And I saw this one, and this only took about a week to come here, and it was dead cheap. Uh, it's just uh, called Anna Fred Lynchstadt, and you'd buy it for that cover alone. So you would. And I played this, and this is magnificent again. It has got about four or five singles and a couple of B-sides. And again, some of these songs are cover versions. So she does a cover version of There Goes My Everything, which Engelbert Humperdinck had a big hit with. I think Elvis had a hit with it as well. She does a, a Benny Anderson, Bjorn Ulvaeus original called Peter Pan, which is fine. It's actually a little bit like Little Things, it's that type of song. And there's one song, I think it's, I'm not even going to attempt this, but I think it's her first single, I think is absolutely magnificent. The vocals of it is Mein Egan Stad or something like that there. But she also does Love Grows Where My Rosemary Goes. And I think there's one other one. Yeah, I Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. It's a really, really good album. It's a cheap old album, but it is absolutely excellent. And that cover is to die for. So what else have we got? Yes, a little bit of VCLT from John Heaton and he sent me an album by ABBA and ABBA's Greatest Hits, one of my favourite albums of all time but he sent me the original uh, European version actually this is a Yugoslavian version so this actually cover freaks me out, it's the same as the British one except that uh, there's no Fernando on it and if you look at Agnetta's, the end of Agnetta's legs with all um, her shins, all the shins coming from her kneecap, it really is freaky but it's a weird cover and for those who are doubting the inside is the cover that we got this is a fantastic album, again it doesn't have Fernando but I've never had this on vinyl, I've had, I've got the CD version of this with the, the cartoon cover but never on vinyl and it was a surprise I didn't know I was getting it so thanks very much John it's very very much appreciated and I think it's my first Yugoslavian record as well and then lastly um, I got this and Dale from Gateful 33 showed this and he sort of dismissed it I think he picked it up for peanuts I had to pay a little bit more but I always fancied it I didn't need it of course I didn't need it with all the songs but I really wanted the Reader's Digest box set the best of ABBA and it says 1972 to 1981. Well, it's not really. It's 72 to 80. Although you could argue that um, Lay Oil Your Love On Me, which is on this, was a single in 81. It was from the 1980 album. And it is a five record box set. And if I can take some of this out. It has the Reader's Digest quality guarantee, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you these albums, I'll take these out. They'll probably fall on the floor here now. Okay. So they're all very generic type covers, but they're really nice pictures. So you have uh, this is record one. I'll put this down here. Record two. Features all the hits and big LP tracks, more or less nearly everything but it's nice to have, I'll never play it, I just wanted to have it, this is actually I love the pictures of Agneta and that there 
and then router 5 is from the Super Trooper sessions. So with this one here you have Super Trooper opening and then you have Intermezzo number 1. Me and I, Rock and Roll Band, Elaine and Dante and Dante, Happy New Year. So you're getting B-sides as well. So um, it's not that expensive and funny enough after it arrived, um, my mate Johnny who owns the record shop in Balamina sent me a message saying do you have this, I just got it in and it was the box set and I said I'm sorry, I've just already bought it. But yeah, great to have. The best of ABBA, Reader's Digest. I think this came out around 1982. Okay, so that's my final inbox, well, CDs as well, uh, for number 52, all ABBA, and I still go mad. I keep on looking to see if there's anything else going cheap that I don't have that I can add to the collection. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to have another video quite soon. All the best now. Bye-bye.